What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop here inside Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, where today I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison for you. I've got the green emerald IQ to go up against that, uh, that honey badger or money badger, I'm sorry, the pearl, the green pearl. Uh, they're laid out fairly the same, so we're going to take a look at them against each other here on 1314 on a fresh house condition and you'll be able to judge for yourself what they look like. Uh, and if this is a ball for you or if these are balls for you, so stay tuned. All right, let's start with the IQ Tour Emerald. And we'll just kind of go back and forth between the shots, <laughs> throw the IQ and then throw the, uh, the Money Badger Pearl right after each other. And we're gonna make the same moves each shot and see what happens. That's a pretty good start. I think the difference, obviously, from the get go is the IQ Tour Emerald is symmetrical, whereas this Money Badger is actually asymmetrical. So you'll probably see, I mean, you should see a sharper reaction out of the Money Badger, but I guess we'll find out here in a minute. And I missed right. But it did exactly what I said. It was gonna be a little bit sharper, so that's good. You watch how much that one picks up. I think these two will complement each other really well. Start to get in a little bit of soup. Probably have the Money Badger. Go back to the IQ Tour now. We're gonna move three left. Try the money badger. Going three left, so the reset. Watch out, buddy. Let's see if this one overhooks in that spot too. Oh. All right. Well, we're gonna. We should erase those, but we're not going to. Apparently, that's the bad angle to play with these bowling balls. So let's try and see if I can let's throw the, mo the money badger again. Move two more. I'll, I'll keep my eyes the same, but I'll move my feet to left. Get the angle right. So that one stops a little bit. You can see it get to the dry hook and kind of stop. Curious to see what the IQ Tour does from there. I guess we'll find out. That one didn't stop. It might have been a pinch slower than the other one, but that one didn't stop. That one rolled off a bit and kept going. So if you're ever looking and wondering what the difference between symmetrical and asymmetrical is, that's kind of it. You know, your symmetrical stuff is generally a little bit smoother, a little bit more rounded and continues, whereas asymmetrical stuff, that big block, that big core, really likes to pick up and uh, kind of picks up strong and goes forward through the pens. Okay, so let's go three more left with the IQ Tour. It's a good shot. Another four pin, trip four. It's a good shot. I think from there, the Money Badger probably stops and goes flush, and it's either gonna wrap 10 or it's gonna be 10 back. Ooh, it 
tried to wrap time. It wanted to, but it kicked it out. Yeah, it's probably a pinch right. But the idea is to kind of give you an idea, to give you a good look of the difference between the two, motion-wise. I'm not good enough to be able to throw them in the exact same spot every time, so <laughs> what you see is what you get. All right, I'm gonna go a few more left now. This is with the money badger again. Goodness, these balls are strong down lane. So as we go left, this will be where, generally it should be where the money badger looks better. But maybe not. Here's the IQ Tour. Right. And they're both reading the middle of the lane differently, which is, I think, what's throwing me off a little bit. It feels like one is going further right than the other. I think one's floating a little bit better than the other. It's clearing the middle of the lane a little bit better. Let's go this way again, see what happens. Going left again. Why does every bowling ball look good in this place? <laughs> All this volume in the middle of it. Really make these balls look good. All right, money badger, hopefully in the same spot. sharper down lane when it stops. That asymmetric core, man. A little bit skid flippier. Keep going left, a few more shots going left. Money Badger again. Have to really get my hand around it now. That one went straight through the back of the deck. That was pretty cool. Whereas if I if I was able to throw the IQ Tour in that exact same spot, I think the IQ Tour either four pins or starts or finishes a little bit further left off the deck. floats further right. Making me feel like I'm missing right constantly. But I think it's just a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna try that one again. Let's see if I can throw a better shot. That was closer. See, that one just drove through the eight pin. Let's go straight, Let's see what happens if we go up like eight, nine, 10. <laughs> nice and clean through there. And that was the IQ Tour. See what the money badger does in there. I'm shocked it didn't hook early because usually some of the pearl stuff will try to really read that friction. I know everybody gets confused and they think the pearl will get you further down lane, which it will in oil. But a lot of times pearl actually reads the dry stronger than some of the big strong bowling balls, the bigger surface bowling balls. This is the money badger. Not bad. 
I like them both. All right, well, honestly, that was kind of, I don't know how to give you an opinion on that because I threw it all over the lane. Uh, you didn't really get to see very many good shots, but I think we could pretty much tell that the IQ2 or Emerald was a little bit cleaner than what the Money Badger was, but the Money Badger was a little bit stronger down lane, which made it kind of stop, which made it give you that look, kind of like a hockey stick type of thing. You know, so we're thinking about changing, <laughs> changing the ball review name to like, the human sprinkler ball reviews because my last few ball reviews you've watched me throw it all over the lane so i don't know we'll see what happens here but at least this kind of gives you an idea of the difference between the two you get an idea of why a symmetrical ball is a little bit more uh rounded and continuous through the pins than what like an asymmetrical ball is where it kind of hook stops so then i say stop but it doesn't really stop it just kind of goes forward rolls through the pins forward rather than directionally so uh, that's all I got for you. Make sure to comment below. Uh, head over to BowlerX.com and get yours today. We've got these online right now. And these are some of the lower end bowler balls. They're not exactly expensive, so you should be able to get these for a pretty good price. So hit the link in the description. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.